The snow-capped mountains, wooded slopes and wildflower-rich meadows of the French Alps are ideal for a bit of walking, or indeed for a bit of butterfly spotting. Uh, they've gone up the valley and they're coming back down part of that ridge. It's an area that's reminiscent of Switzerland, as demonstrated by our chalet-style hotel. Glacier streams tumble down from the mountains. The meadows on the valley floor are awash with wildflowers. roam the mountain tops, but this is a domesticated animal. Wall lizards live almost unnoticed around the village of Le Contamine, slipping on and off the pavement as pedestrians walk by. This unlikely looking patch of rough ground on the edge of the village proved to be particularly productive for butterflies. The diminutive small blue was one of the most numerous species. It's barely the size of a thumbnail. Here a substantial gathering of small blues are seeking minerals in the damp mud. With lots of species present, each butterfly demands careful inspection. This one's a common blue. But this is one that won't be seen in the UK, a female green underwing blue. The Mazarine blue is now considered extinct in the UK. Here we see first a female and now a male. Here a nectaring female mazarine blue attracts brief attention from another butterfly. Yeah. 
It may only be a small patch of rough ground, but there's a wealth of wildflowers to be seen. You don't need to travel to the Alps to see the small heath. Or indeed, the ringlet. But you won't find this one in Britain. It's the bright-eyed ringlet. And this is the large wall, another species which doesn't occur in the UK. The markings on the underwing are quite intricate. Sooner them than me. The woodland glades and edges offer species which can't be found in the open meadows. The Camberwell beauty seems to prefer this habitat. This is a tatty overwintered specimen. But here a much tidier example poses on a felled log. There are two ways to persuade a reluctant Camberwell beauty to provide an open wing shot. The first is to enlist the help of a friendly beetle. The second is to wait for a cloud to obscure the sun, but you can achieve a similar effect by surreptitiously casting your own shadow across the butterfly. It looks like a small white, an everyday species in the UK, but it's worth checking more closely. It turns out to be a wood white, a rare and declining species in Britain, although quite common in the Alps. Here's a black veined white, long extinct in Britain but quite plentiful in the Alps. Further down the valley, in the quaint spa town of San Gervais, it's market day. Here the river cuts a steep gorge, overlooked by an ancient church.
Strangely, by moving down the valley, we find meadows which reverberate to the sound of crickets, which simply weren't evident at Le Contemont. A car park verge in the village of Plajou attracted this swallowtail, which is not a rare butterfly in the Alps. Further up the valley, another one's nectaring on Viper's bugloss at the side of a country road. The steep slopes above Planjou offer a spectacular view of the town of Passy. And what better way to take a closer look? We're back at that patch of rough ground at Le Contamine, which extends behind the road to a gravelled area of hard standing which has been overrun with wildflowers. The temperature is in excess of 30 degrees Celsius, but it doesn't seem to have deterred this large snail. Skippers are well represented here, including this grizzled skipper, an uncommon and localised species in the UK. Likewise the chequered skipper, which is only found in Scotland, and the dingy skipper. This large skipper appears to be excreting liquid on the gravel and sucking it back up with its proboscis. A fast flying burger's clouded yellow proved to be particularly difficult to pin down for a photo. And here's one of the jewels of the Alps, a purple edged copper. You won't find these in the UK.
nor its less spectacular cousin, the sooty copper. Another swallowtail makes a brief appearance. While this oxide daisy has attracted a heath fritillary, another very rare and localised species in Britain. A Queen of Spain fritillary settles on the gravel to enjoy the sun's warmth. The holiday is drawing to a close. We didn't pick the Lake Contamine specifically for butterflies, but it still provided over 30 species, around half of which are rarely, if ever, seen in the UK. Back at Geneva, the Airbus A320 is ready for takeoff. <laughs> 